hey, what's up, guys? I wanted to listen to uh, this bullshit and address it. I, I don't know why. I don't even know why I entertain this, but I guess it's just something that I got to do. All right. So, uh, you know who went off for like 45 minutes about me again, saying that he keeps exposing me and I'm fake. I don't even know what that means. Like, I don't know what's fake about me. I don't know what he's exposing. I, I don't get it. Let's hear what he has to say. It's awful funny how people sit there and speak the truth. How they sit there and when they speak the truth, the person gets so butthurt. He Once again, butthurt. Grown ass man using the word butthurt. <laughs> and apparently I'm butthurt. I don't even know like why he keeps saying that. I, I don't get that. I, in his delusional mind, I'm upset. I'm crying. He always says about me crying and shit. I don't. I don't think I'm the one that's made 500 videos with me crying in it like somebody. Anyway, he sits there and threatens to take you down, and he sits there and threatens. All right. Uh, sits there. Let's play a drinking game. No, because it's 7 o'clock in the morning, but every time he says sits there, do a shot. <laughs> Man, my nose is all clogged up today. <clears throat> I don't know if it's because it's like like 100 degrees one day and 70 the next day. Uh, who knows? Uh, anyway, uh, let's get back to what he's saying. To attack you one way or another. Well, I don't remember attacking you ever, but yeah, I did respond to your attacks, but anyway. He sits there and makes fun, sits there. fun of you. He sits there and keeps on hurting you. Okay, totally false. I've ignored you for over a month. And every day you come out with five, ten videos, and then you delete them. So anyway, let's keep going. And he don't care how he hurts you in any way at all. He'll sit there and sit there. Put you down as much as he can to sit there and think it's funny. And it's really not at all. You're right, man. It's not funny anymore. It's now it's to the point where it's just sad. It's not funny one bit. How you keep coming after me for no reason. You know, and then when I reply, I'm a bully. You know, I know there's about two or three of you who agree with him, but there's about, you know, 10,000 who agree with me, so whatever. He calls you insane. He calls you. Because you are insane, dude. You are insane. You know, it's like, it's not slander when it's true. You know, he, he sits, he sits there and says, I almost said sits there, but he, he says that all, everything I say is slander. You need to look that word up, man. It's not slander when it's true. You know, <laughs> I will admit, man, I should have never said called anybody a retard. I should have never used that word. But when I was growing up, calling somebody a retard was like, it wasn't because they were retarded. That's just what you said. You know, they, they interviewed Eminem one time and they were like, why do you hate gay people? And he's like, I don't hate gay people. And they were like, well, you always use the word faggot. And he was like, so? And they were like, well, that's a gay slur. And he was like, no, that's what, you know, we were growing up. You know, you got into an argument with somebody or somebody bumped into you. You'd be like, you faggot. You don't mean it as a gay term. And I think that's the same thing about, like, retard. That when I was growing up, it was like, if somebody bumped into you or you got an argument, man, shut up, retard. But then you go and call somebody who is retarded, retarded. That's wrong. You can't do that. And, and you know, ah, fucking phone is blowing up this early. Oh, that's Pat and Rat. I'll, I'll address that in a minute. You retard. He calls you dummy. It doesn't matter or anything at all. Then his fans sit there and do the same thing. Okay, well, first of all, I cannot control what any of my fans do, you know? You know, and, uh, hang on a second. I cannot control what my fans do. I can't, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. It's just like when that whole pizza delivery shit happened, when everyone was saying that my fans were sending pizza to that, to that 
what's his name? That had nothing to do with me. But the, the problem with, with Hubbard is like whenever somebody does something to him, he says that I told them to do it. Show me some proof of me telling somebody to go after him. I don't. I don't tell anybody to bother him, man. I tell people to leave him alone. I tell people to ignore him. But that doesn't work. He doesn't go away. His fans keep doing the same thing. I can't control what anybody does, Edward. I'm not the worldly police. Hey, he claims he don't have his fans do it or... Because I don't. Anything. But 16 years old, Melo comes and tells me that he sit there and did everything. Okay, what Melo does is up to him. I never told him to do anything. And I just talked to him earlier and I was like, dude, did you tell Edward that I told you to go after him? And he was like, no. And I'm like, all right, well, that's what he's spouting off at the mouth now. And the whole Lewis thing, I've already proved that was a lie. Lewis told Edward that I'm the one that told Lewis to call him 100 times. I fucking had the screen cap of him telling me, hey, I'm going to call Edward 100 times. And I'm like, whatever, dude. I never told him to do it. But he lied to Edward, and Edward believes it. And that's what Edward does. He listens to people. He listens to people's lies, and he believes them for some reason. So whatever, man. But when you tell him the truth, he doesn't believe that. So He sat there and said he made the little troll hunger to make fun of me because... Okay, well, if he did, that's on him. I never told him to do it. He was bored. He didn't have nothing better to do. He sat there and viciously and constantly tacked me left and right. He sat there and did what he wanted to do. He thinks that it's fun and games and he don't care. At all. He wants to hurt the person 100%. He don't give a damn. He says he speaks the truth of all truth. I do. What uh, What do I say that's not true and not accurate? You know, maybe some of it's my opinions. Like when I talk about politics and shit, that's my opinions. When I talk about certain people, the shit that I'm saying is true. When I made videos about McJuggernuggets, everything I said was true. When I made videos about Uncle Larry, everything I said was true. I'm not making up shit. You know what I mean? I'm not making stuff up for your amusement. I'm saying how I feel, and I'm basing it on facts and what I see. But he don't know how to speak the truth at all. He got mad because the fact that I proved the proof. I proved how he... You proved the proof. The only thing that you proved is that you attacked me over and over again. Over and over again, verbally. Uh, you've, that's all you've proved, you know, all you have proved is how you've attacked me so many times and you don't stop. Even when everyone ignores you, just like TCB, TCB hasn't mentioned you in, in two months and you keep talking about him and making videos about him. He's literally said nothing to or about you. And now he's quit YouTube because of this dumb shit, which I almost did too. I, everyone's just tired of it. And I know that's that's your goal for everyone to quit YouTube, just so you're the only YouTuber on the planet. And then you had balls to go after Leafy and say Leafy's nobody without his 4 million subs. Why don't you go after him more? He's 100 times worse than I am. All right, let's go. Last people, I proved how he threatened people. Okay, I've never threatened anybody, first of all. That's you that does that. I've never threatened anybody on the Internet. That's you, buddy. You threatened and threatened and threatened. You told Governor you were going to stab him. You told me you were going to murder me. You told Bobby you were going to murder him. You told Green Dream you were going to beat him up and his wife. That's proof. That, that's that's a fact. That's all uploaded. You can listen to it. When have I ever threatened anybody? Show me. You go on and on and on about all this proof you have, but nobody ever gets to see any of it. You'll send out some stupid screen cap of you texting me, and I reply with, hey, leave me alone, and then you'll, you'll show that. What is that? Like, how is that me threatening you by saying, dude, leave me alone? You are truly insane, man, and you need help. But you refuse to get help. Just like when you went off about how you don't take your medication because you don't feel like it. But then everybody everybody can tell when you do take your medication because you're a totally different person. And shit. And the people get mad because you speak up against them. I proved how he was the bully. No, you didn't. All you proved is that you're a bully. And that's why you were in an anti-bully group and they kicked you out of it for bullying. You got fired from your job for bullying. These are all things you've said. I'm not making this up. You said it all. I got fired from my job for bullying. Uh, they kicked me out of my anti-bully group for bullying. 
They told you, stay off the internet and harassing people. You didn't listen, so they kicked you out of the anti-bully group. Wearing that stupid shirt does not make you a member still. You got kicked out of there, man. I'll try to bring the the uh, I'll try to bring the guy who's in charge of that on the air later so we can discuss you. He's already turned me down a few times saying, I don't want any part of that guy. There's something wrong with him. And I'm like, can you come on live and talk to me? And he's like, I'd rather not. So I'll try again to get him. We know who I'm talking about, Edward. The guy who fired you from your anti-bully campaign because you're a bully. Fact. And he didn't like it one bit. I proved how TCB was even a bully. TCB, and TCB didn't like it one bit. TCB doesn't say shit about you and you bring him into it. Not at all. It's funny when it's they not claim funny. that they don't do nothing. It's funny when they claim they don't know anything. Oh, it's YouTube. It's just YouTube. And, well, if it's just YouTube, then why are you all harassing people? Nobody's harassing anybody. You're doing the harassing. I don't. I, I said this six months ago, dude. YouTube is not the place for you. You even agreed with me. You were like, yeah, I sh when we were cool for three weeks, before you flipped out on me again for no reason, after I fixed your account, you know, you were like, yeah, I should stay off of YouTube. I should stay off of there. It's not for me. Yeah, now you, you know, look at what happens now. Why do you all sit there attacking <coughs> people and claiming stuff and doing things to people because you guys hate it? You guys sit there and want to keep on doing it. And that's it. You claim that you all can do what you want to do to people. And so, and you can't. You claim that it's your freedom of speech. Well, that's fine. It's my freedom of speech and I have my rights. But nobody else has their rights. You're allowed to say whatever you want to say, but as soon as somebody else says something, you flip out and call them a bully. Why is it okay for you to say whatever you want to say? But yet, when someone else says some shit, oh, 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 he's a bully. I have my rights, but no one else has rights. I have my rights to be able to speak up. I, You're right, you do. And so does everyone else. I have my rights to do what I want to do. You guys claim that you guys want are better than me? You claim that you want to do what you want to do, and you claim that it's okay to do, and that it's not okay to do. You claim it is okay to hurt people, and it's not okay to hurt. When have I ever said it's okay to hurt people? Like, I, everything this fucking guy says is pure lies. He makes up so much shit. He, he says that I say all this stuff when I don't. You say it's okay to hurt people. When have I said that? When have I said, hey, hurting people's okay? When have I ever said that sh stupid shit? Never. It's, oh my God, this is never going to end. As long as this guy is just mentally fucked up, this is never going to end. I don't take my medication because I don't want to. Well, you should. You should start taking it again, man. I think the three weeks that me and you were cool, I think you were on some medication. <clears throat> And then you stopped taking the medication and you flipped out on me. And I even messaged you. You gave me your personal phone number. I messaged you and I was like, dude, what are you doing? Why are you attacking me again? And what did you say? You were like, oh, it's just a joke. And I said, dude, I don't think that's that's wise to do. I don't know. You know, you want to joke around. I don't think that that's, you know, people are going to take it too serious. And you were like, well, I'm just joking around. And I'm like, dude, please don't do it. You're, you're just going to start all this bullshit up again. And that's what you, you couldn't listen to. Now you say you're joking. Whatever. Whatever, dude. People. You got mad that I proved it to the people and how you hurt people and what you guys do to the people. You claim that you... Okay, see, there he goes again referring to me as you guys. All right? I don't tell people to do anything, Edward. I'm not, I'm not the king of the land. I'm not Obama. I don't give out orders and say, hey, go do this, go do that. What people do who watch me is, you know, that's on them. So are so innocent in everything and not one bit that you are innocent in anything. You claim that it's okay to tweet. You claim it's okay to do whatever you want to do. And it's not okay to do. People have the rights to do what they want to do. They have the rights to talk to whoever they want to talk to. Okay, so you have rights, but nobody else does. They claim that they're okay to do what they want to do. You know, I don't even care or anything. 
like I said, I got to get an attorney. I got to get an attorney. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have to get an attorney? Wait a minute. I thought you had 10 attorneys. You already have attorneys. Now you have to get one? More lies. He just, he keeps proving that he's a liar. He's, he just keeps proving over and over that he's lies. Uh, for the last two months, he's, he has all these attorneys. Now he's saying he has to get an attorney? What happened to all the ones you already had? More lies. I will get an attorney. I will. I will, quote, I will get an attorney. No, yesterday you had five attorneys working for you. Hold back down, either. So, you know, you try not to do it or anything. You try to do it the right way. And so, so legal claim, they try to do things the right way. But yet, they think it's funny games to talk to a child molester or whatever. Let me address the whole child molester thing. Fuck. Remember that guy, Psycho Rob, that was fucking with me for like a day or two? And then he went away. I didn't even know the guy was a child molester. I thought he was like some nine-year-old kid. So I'm like, dude, I'm not going to argue with a nine-year-old. So he sent me a picture of his ID. And uh, they Googled it. And here he's a registered sex offender in the state of Maine. Edward says we made all that up. So they tried showing Edward the Maine registry for sex offenders, which is totally legit. You can go to maine.state.gov or whatever the fuck it is type his name in and it pops right up. Edward says we created that, like we made that. I have the power to uh, do a, a fake main.gov website. And he's like, you guys made all that up, it's fake. I called him, I, it's fake. And I'm like, dude, it's not fake, it's right here. And he, don't, he doesn't believe that. But a 12 year old tells Edward that uh, I'm doing something here and he believes that though. <laughs> oh Christ. Molester. And they say, Everything was all true and it was all a lie. Because no, it actually was all true. You just don't believe it. And just because you don't believe something doesn't mean it's not true. It just means that you're just dumb. The fact that he actually was talking to Dude, if you're gonna do a live stream, don't eat, you know. He's he's taking shits in his live streams, he's taking pisses in his live streams, he eats. You can't understand what he's saying when he eats. Oh, her bark, bark, her bark, bark, bark. Person. Still. I think it's funny how people want to blame other people, but you can't blame yourself for what they have done. I think it's funny. That I, I do take full responsibility for calling you a retard. I should have never done that. I should have never called you a retard, man, and I do agree with that. I do agree with that. They want to sit there and hurt people, and it's not even right one bit at all. They just want to keep on hurting the people and keep putting people down all the time. They want to sit there and shut up the people, and it's not cool one bit. What people do I want to shut up? Because the fact that the people speak up and speak people? up the truth. Man, he's endless, endless them, blabbling, man. They want to get hurt. They think it's okay to do what they want to do to people like Jesse Bridgeway or people like Uncle Larry. This dude is so obsessed with these two, and he claims he knows them and talks to them. And he sent uh, Uncle Larry a T-shirt back in March, and Uncle Larry wore it. And then Uncle Larry seen the real Edward and how crazy he is, and he won't wear a shirt anymore, and Edward takes personal offense to that. And he acts like they're best friends in the world. No, you sent him a gift, like a bunch of little kids do, because that's what kind of mind you have, is a little kid's mind. So you sent him some stupid shirt. He wore it one time, seven months ago, and now you act like he's your best friend in the world, and, but he won't wear it now because he's, you're blocked. He blocked you, too. He blocked you everywhere because you attacked him. You're a bully. <laughs> I mean, it's not even cool. They claim it's okay to do everything, and it's really not okay to do everything. They want to hurt, and that's all they want to do. My favorite thing about this guy is how he walks outside and he asks his neighbor for legal advice. 
So you got two people on welfare who don't work. They, they sit outside on the porch all day and smoke cigarettes and whatever they do. And they talk about lega legalities with things. Hey, can I sue Hydro because I attacked him? Yeah, you can. All right. That's what I thought. Who the fuck is she? You know what I mean? He talks to his neighbor for legal advice. She's living in some beat ass broke down shack with you. She ain't no lawyer. They claim they want to end things, but yet they keep it up and keep doing the thing, same thing over and over. They think it's, no, that's you that keeps doing the same shit over and over, man. Funny games, do whatever. Yep, lie, lie, apple pie, you got that right, bud. Oh, man. All right. Well, you're going to do a live stream and not talk. So I guess we've had enough of that, right? Do we have enough of that? I'm so tired of this shit. I'm just so tired of it. And I know, ignore it, ignore it. I've taken that road, man. I've done that. I've ignored it forever. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't stop. And it, it's not going to stop. I mean, I don't know what to do anymore. I, I, I ignore him. It doesn't work. I react to him. I'm a bully. I don't know what to do, man. I don't... <laughs> I ignore this guy for a month, and every single day he makes four, five, six videos about how I keep attacking him. Yeah, people are attacking him, but it ain't me. But he blames it on me. People I don't even know, people I've never heard of. You know, Hingle McCringle's attacking me because Heggy told him to. Who the hell's Hingle McCringle? That you told him to attack me. I don't even know the guy. You know what I mean? This is so tired of it, man. All right, I'm out. Peace.